Yo, what is up guys? AD here back with another Destiny Child video here on the channel. And before we get started, everyone, make sure to scroll down below and leave a like on this video, as well as make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet done so already and are interested in more Destiny Child content. But with that being said, we are going to be summoning here on Destiny Child Korea for the newest five star in Samuel. So there she is on the screen. We'll be summoning her up today, hopefully, as we do have 28,000 crystals. So let's get started here and see if we can manage to pull her as i am trying to make progress here on destiny child korea with the current world boss trial event so i would love to have both of the boost childs to obtain as many mirror fragments as possible as i do have one of the boost childs the 30 percent but we are summoning for samuel here for the 60 percent boost so hopefully we can manage to pull her i'm not too sure if she is good or not for the world boss trial but i guess we'll see in just a few minutes from now as we'll overview her skills after the summons hopefully we do manage to pull her though as we do have about 10 summons today in this video so if i do manage to pull her i'll be very happy but if we don't i'll come back with more crystals as i still do have a ton to farm here on destiny child korea so let's see if we can manage to do it within the 10 multi summons i know it's pretty difficult here on korea as always as they do have the 30 multi summon cap here compared to global's 15 so a pretty rough system here on korea for the summoning but if you do manage to have the crystals, maybe we do have her here and no. But if you do have the crystals, then you should be fine. Totally no problem with summoning up each and every new unit. But for myself here, let's see if we get lucky. My Korean summons are pretty harsh on myself sometimes. So I'll have to have some good RNG in today's video. But on global, we've had some decent luck as on Rosanna's summons. We did manage to pull her in the first multi-summon. But here on Destiny Child Korea, it does seem to be different as we do not have Samuel here yet as we do have four multi-summons remaining. So if we don't pull her, like I said, I'll come back with more crystals hopefully and then we'll continue our summons to see if we can manage to finish her off in today's video. Now here, we don't have her. We have two four to five stars in that summon. Two multi-summons remaining here. Let's see if we get lucky. And there she is, thankfully, within the 10 multi-summons on the 9th, we managed to pull her observant Samuel there. So there she is on the screen. You can't really see her face here due to the icon. It's blocked. But yeah, we'll check out her skills right now. But overall, very happy that we did manage to pull her within 30k crystals for the world boss trial. And she does seem to be, what, a fire type debuffer. So pretty interesting. We'll check out her kit and we'll see if she's good for the world boss trial. All right, everyone. So here we are with the newest five-star debuffer in Observant Samuel. There she is on screen with the default costume and the live 2D animation looking beautiful as we do have her here. She's finally an obtainable character here on Destiny Child Korea. She's been around for quite a while, but there she is looking amazing. And yeah, hopefully you guys do like the look of this unit as we should eventually receive her on destiny child global but as for the skill set here we do have the tab skill dealing 413 damage to target minus 40 percent skill charge speed for 12 seconds to the target so a pretty standard tab skill here it does seem as for the slide skill here we do have minus 20 percent debuff evasion for 16 seconds to three forest type enemies and minus 20 percent critical defense for 16 seconds to three forest type enemies so this does seem to be pretty good it does allow more debuffs to be applied onto the boss and of course more crits to go across as well so it does seem to be a pretty good slide skill here if you guys do happen to play korea more than i do make sure to let me know what you do think of her slide skill overall in my opinion it does seem pretty strong but maybe i am wrong as for the draft skill here though we do have a plus 30 percent debuff accuracy increase for 22 seconds to five debuffer allies so without a doubt this drive skill is pretty strong and of course she does deal 2061 damage to three random enemies so a very nice drive skill it does seem here and of course the slide does seem great as well for those attackers of yours and for the leader buff here we do have a plus 30 percent debuff accuracy increase to all allies 
minus 25% critical defense to all enemies, world boss only. So overall, I would say a pretty good kit here for the world boss trial, in my opinion. Make sure to let me know in the comments section below what you guys do think of her, if you do happen to play Destiny Child Korea, and make sure to let me know if you guys did manage to summon up this beautiful looking fire type debuffer. As for her drive skill, let's check it out here on screen for Samuel. There she is showcased and she does burn up in the drive skill. I do love when they showcase the units in their drive skill animations as I've stated plenty times already but there she is once again looking amazing. So yeah, make sure to let me know your thoughts in the comment section below of this new debuffer. All right, everyone, before we do end off this video, I did want to check out the newest wood type defender in Underwater Jenny here in the World of Oz trial as well. So there she is. We'll be purchasing a copy of her right now and checking her out in today's video. Overall, I do love her design quite a bit and her drive skill is very beautiful. So there she is the newest forest type defender in Underwater Jenny. And we'll check out her drive skill as well so you guys can see how she does look. Overall, a very beautiful character. So let's head into the album here and there she is once more on the screen for you all to see in her Before Awakening costume looking very nice. And we do have here the drive skill animation which is very beautiful for Underwater Jenny. There it is on screen looking very well animated. I do love this one a ton. Now it doesn't showcase the character, but overall, in my opinion, very fluent animation here for Underwater Jenny's drive skill. Make sure to let me know what you think in the comment section below. She does look very amazing. And overall, I'm pretty happy to have this character. But anyways, everyone, that'll pretty much do it for today's Destiny Child Korean summons in today's Destiny Child video. As we did manage to pull the newest fire type debuffer in Greedy Samuel. There she is in her After Awakening costume, actually, for you all to see. Looking very beautiful here with this new hairstyle. And overall, looking very nice in the After Awakening costume, of course the S class. So make sure to let me know in the comment section below if you guys did manage to pull this new fire type debuffer for the world boss trial and overall your thoughts on her looks or her skill set. But before you go everyone make sure to leave a like on this video if you did enjoy today's destiny child summons and of course if you haven't yet done so already please make sure to subscribe to the channel so you stay notified for more destiny child content here on the channel as well as other gacha games as well. And make sure to check out the links in the description box below as well to my discord server as well as to my twitter account and of course to my twitch channel and where we do live stream destiny child but with all of that being said i'll see you all in the next destiny child video as always thank you all so much for watching